this thing on? Ooh. Say hi to the camera. It's been a while. Are you being camera shy? We're being in a hugging kind of mood. Yeah. Well, there's someone missing. Oh. What? Baby brother's missing. Baby, Baby brother's, brother's missing. missing. Yeah. Baby brother. Here you he can does help. fit. You can he help okay. Daddy hold him. Okay. He fits. I will hold him. Aww. You want to introduce your baby brother? What's his name? Baby Everett. Baby Everett. Baby Everett. Yeah. Aw, you're a sweet big sister, aren't you? Cutie. So, no, you know I'm cool calling Cody, you call him cute. You call him cute. cute. Okay. Yeah. And baby he has Everett. two names. He has two names. What are his uh -huh. names? Baby. Baby. Baby Elba and Baby Brother. Baby, baby Everett and Baby Brother. Oh, we Stand by. You used to say it loud. Well, we're glad you joined us. We're family on standby. Mm -hmm. And we are here to talk about, introduce you to, rather, aw, our newest member of the travel gang. Right here. Right here. And then the old veteran, the wily veteran, <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> and if you're really new here, Brittany. And I'm Nick. And we're about to go on some real adventures. We are doing this video because number one, we're kind of like stuck at home for a while. And we wanted to introduce you to Everett. Guys, this is about to be hard for me. Yeah, he does. You can tell. You can have one of Oh, I bet he would love one of your blankets. Where you raise my blanket? Yeah, he likes blankets, I think. Oh. We've gotten a decent amount of sleep, but we're still a little bit zombie-like. So if we say anything stupid in this video... Please forgive us. Just ignore it. Just throw it by the wayside. <laughs> <laughs> We've been just enjoying our time as a family of four. Olivia has been doing her big sister thing. If you could pick anywhere, where would you take Everett on his first plane ride? We are taking him to the park. To the park. Take him to the park? Okay. What if we wanted to go a little further than the park? Portugal. Portugal. Every time. Portugal. Every time we ask her, the answer is always the same. Portugal. It's Portugal. 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 That's not to say that will be his first plane ride. That's just her pick. <laughs> but it could be Portugal. It could be Portugal. What's so, on the list? Portugal? So we're planning on traveling for a couple weeks for his first plane ride, our first family trip. It'll be intense because now we have a toddler and a newborn. Oh man. Um, yeah, so it's, it's gonna be real. Do we love ourselves or hate ourselves? I don't know. So <laughs> all of the places that we have selected are long haul flights. So, um, luckily we took Olivia, we started traveling with her when she was three months old. And so we have a lot of tricks up our sleeves for babies on planes. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Now we can Cute see his face. <laughs> you want to go right there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Olivia has taken up singing to baby brother as her primary task. Yep. My little sleepy head. I haven't heard that version before. I know, you took a song and you improved upon it. Right? Good work. <laughs> but anyways, the three places that we are thinking about going to. One. Portugal. Portugal. Super kid friendly. We're not going to two. 
I put up two fingers. <laughs> okay, I was Back just gonna to say a little about it. Portugal is on the list because it's super kid friendly. Uh, we just went there like less than a year ago. But when, after we went, we were like, this could be our first trip, just because of how back. family friendly it is. Yep. If we do go there, we're gonna we're thinking about going to Porto. We just went to Lisbon the first time, and then maybe some of the beaches. So that's one. Yep. Two. Now I'm ready for two. Now you're ready for two. Number two. What's number two? How are we doing this? The Iberian Peninsula. Let's stick there. The Iberian Peninsula. Still Spain. Um, or Spain. The reason Still. we chose Spain is because we wanted kind of like a beach destination but in Europe, and there are a lot of beaches in Spain. So if we did that, we would go to kind of some of the smaller towns in Europe along the coast. That was Olivia's first trip, first international Barcelona. trip. Barcelona. She went to Barcelona when she was a little less than a year old. So we thought it would be kind of cool for his first trip to be Spain as well. So Option that's three. Two, or that's, yeah, that's two. Yeah, okay. now we're on three. Yep, three. Three is? Japan. Japan. Japan is like the sleeper pick because it, it's a long flight, 13 hours from Chicago with a newborn and it's a toddler. A bold move, Cotton. We've gone to Japan one time, but it was just the two of us. And it was a hike being just the two of us with no kids. So wish us luck if we choose Japan because uh, that flight's gonna be interesting. Top, Another singing break. Uh, Japan's on our list because it has some pretty amazing food. Um, we used to think uh, Italy was our favorite food destination until we went to Tokyo. I could go for more ramen right now. Yeah, oh my gosh. Just the food is outstanding. So that's one of the reasons we want to go. Also, you know, it's, it's just a lot harder for us to get to when... Um, we only have a certain number of vacation days a year. And this is kind of at the end of maternity leave, so we thought we might as well go somewhere a little further now. Yep, um, let's do it. I think that's Jump right one in, me. go to the furthest one. Right. And we also want to talk about our travel goals now that we have yes. two kids. Yes. Travel the goals. The first one is Everett's first trip Everett's that we just first talked about. Trip we talked about. But our goal is to get the kids to all 50 states before mm -hmm. kindergarten. Yeah, that's our second goal. That's a loftier goal, a longer term goal. Um, we always considered kind of doing that and then, you know, we sometimes we end up going to the same states over and over again. And so we wanted a way that would actually force us to go to like certain states because... Looking at you, Huntsville. Yeah. So we want to check out the country. We've yeah. been all around the world. We haven't been to all the states, that's something that we've both wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So why not have them do it before kindergarten and give them the best icebreaker that they could get. Yeah. Right? And all those stupid, what's something oh, unique yeah. about yourself? You can say, I've been to all 50 states. <laughs> so yeah, we want to go to all 50 states and timing. Before kindergarten. Yep, for her before kindergarten. Well, I guess both of them really. Well, they're not going alone. Because he's younger, so naturally. That's where on the clock there. Yeah. You're going to all 50 states. So we want to take both kids to all 50 states before Olivia hits kindergarten. So Olivia is almost three years old and... So it gives us two um, years? It gives two us about years, two years, yeah, to do all 50 states. So I think we can make it happen. That's quite the endeavor. 104 weekends, 50 states. Yeah. It could be a weekend trip, it could be an out and back, it could be like a full week trip. A big guy! A big guy! Yeah. He's a big guy! We're still singing. This is a concert. Thanks for joining our video. Yep. Sorry we look like we haven't slept. Not really, because we haven't. So I'm not sorry about that at all. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. Yep. Hit the reminder, the little bell thingy. Yep. I never do that. I need to start being better about that. I know, I always forget it exists. Yeah, anyway. So hit that. Uh, like, follow on Instagram, Pinterest, I Facebook, Twitter. Happy. That's about what it. What is that? Yeah. We'll be back with some more uh, family travel tips, packing, preparing for travel with a newborn. Actually traveling. Wrangling toddlers. Yep. <laughs> more cute stuff like this. Yeah. My boss. Where is he? Where is his eyeballs? Where is his eyeballs? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, they're behind his eyelids. He's sleeping. Where is his 
eyeballs. There. He's sleeping. He has his eyes closed. If you shut your eyes. Where's his eyeballs? If you shut your eyes, I'll be like, where's your eyeballs? Where'd they go? Oh, but I got your nose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. 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 Say talk soon.